Good evening, everybody. Um, I want to thank everybody for coming out. This is our uh, first official release of Hyphen in North America, so we're very excited. My name is Adrian Santana. I'm the Western Director of Sales for uh, Kevro International. We're the North American distributor for Monitor Audio. Uh, we have a couple things that we're going to be doing for you tonight. We have a guest speaker who is Charles Manette. He is the Product Development uh, <coughs> Director for Monitor Audio. Uh, this is his design speaker. Um, along with Michael Hutchinson. We're going to be you know, going over why hyphen, play some demos for you, answer some of the technical questions behind the speaker, and then at the end, answer any questions for you guys. So without further ado, Charles Manette, our product development director. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Um, almost got it right. Oh, right. <laughs> product, <laughs> product design director. Yeah. So, Sorry. Yeah, that's right. Uh, my, my job at Monitor Audio uh, is I'm head of industrial design uh, and development, uh, and I work very closely with another guy called Michael Hedges, and he is our technical director. Uh, we've worked together for a long time. Uh, he's worked for the company over two periods of time. I've been there now for 20 years this, this October. Uh, so yeah, I've, I've been responsible for, for many, many products. I, I, I go back to Silver Series RS, which was 2005, that was the first loudspeaker development that I was, was involved in. Uh, but yeah, that's not why we're here today. We're here to talk about Hyphen. Uh, and what we'll do is talk a little bit about why, uh, play a couple of songs uh, so you're not listening to me waffle on too much. Then we'll go back to a little bit more of the technical story uh, and, and why it is the way it is. Uh, so first thing, why? why? Uh, we, we were challenged, Michael and I, uh, four years ago uh, by our, our company owner. Monitor Audio uh, is still privately owned. We're the largest privately owned British loudspeaker manufacturer now. Um, so we're, we're still 100% shareholder in the UK. Uh, and uh, the chairman and our CEO, uh, so Andrew Flatt and, and Rob Barford, challenged Michael and I to, to develop something to celebrate our, our 50th birthday which was uh, just coming to the end of our, our 50th year anniversary celebrations now, and, uh, and to, to develop a product which was the statement of that. Uh, and we took that very literally, uh, and we, we looked at a lot of different ways we could proceed. Uh, and one of the key things we wanted to do was make sure we did something that was vision forward. Uh, there's a lot of trend in the audio market right now of looking back uh, of, the, of the good old days. Uh, and we do that too, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm nostalgic, uh, but what we really want to do is look forward and what could we do as a brand and, and what could we really innovate into. Uh, so that's what this is about. Uh, so that's why we, we initially uh, developed a prototype speaker called Concept 50, uh, and we took that to, to Munich uh, in 20, what year are we now, 2022, um, and uh, yeah, it went down a storm. Uh, we were really humbled by, by what the, the press and the public said to us. So, so now we've come to the production version, which is, is how hyphen. Uh, and uh, yeah, so today is our, our North America debut. Uh, this is the first time the product has been on, on show in, in the US. Uh, that's why I've come over here, uh, special for the event. Uh, and it really is a statement of our, our technological in, intent uh, looking forward. Uh, I think probably the best thing to do now is play your song uh, and then we'll get into a little bit of the, the technical configuration and why it looks the way it does. We're just wetting your appetite a little bit with some demos here. Um, Michael's going to jump back in and then we're going to Kick it up a notch with some more demos. Thank you. Yeah, so that was a little bit of a, a musical introduction. Uh, and now I'll go on to a little bit about why it looks the way it does. Um, when Michael and I started this project, we had no pre, you know, we, we deliberately set ourselves the challenge of trying to have no preconceptions about what a loudspeaker should be. Uh, we wanted to really you know, take, take it back to a clean sheet of paper. Uh, we literally did that. We, we spent an afternoon doodling ideas back in uh, 20, 2019, 2020, uh, just coming out of the pandemic. And, um, and we started talking about what if we could build a speaker around this, an ideal configuration. 
Um, so this, we, we didn't start the design of let's make something bold. Uh, we sat down and, and I challenged Michael on, on what, what did he want out of a, a loudspeaker and what, what configuration he wanted to work with. He gave me that recipe and, and that's what started the industrial design process. So that's why he started talking about uh, point source arrays. Uh, and getting things as close together as possible, and also the, the need to, to look at force cancellation. He wanted to, to, to work with that. And through my basic understanding of acoustics, I would challenge back on, on what can we do and how can we do it. And that's where uh, I, I came up with the idea of, OK, what about inverting the, the, the base drivers? Uh, that way, getting them much closer, because they're working in exactly the same way. Uh, whether they're, they're uh, forward-facing or, or facing outwards. So that was the starting point with the, with the two columns uh, with, uh, that we, we, we totally isolated. Uh, so one of the, the key things you take from the, the cabinet designs is all the different elements are actually very well isolated from each other. So we have this bridge here with the, that holds the MRA, which I'll go on to later, but we have the base cabinets. These base cabinets aren't supported or connected in any way through this bridge. The only thing connecting the two halves of this loudspeaker are the four beams, two per driver, which, which anchor the speaker together. Those four, four base units are then held into position within the, the cabinet with just four bolts. So the whole assembly is held by just four screws. Um, we did a lot of FEA work to make sure that that would work. Uh, it does. Uh, <laughs> the, 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 the science backed up the, the, the simulation. Um, and then a few things I really wanted, you know, I, being an industrial designer, I was very insistent that we try and keep this, this structure clear and open at the bottom. Uh, so yeah, that's where we started with the, with the base cabinets. Um, they might look like seal boxes, but they're not. These are, these are ported cabinets. Uh, there's two uh, port tubes structured into the bottom. Uh, they actually form part of the skeletal structure of the cabinet, so help add to the rigidity. Um, they're tuned from memory somewhere around uh, 25 kilohertz, is it, I think? Uh, and up until that point, they're, they're operating as a sealed box. So it only kicks in that, that, that port tube when you really, really need that low down rumble. So uh, yeah, pretty good in a big, big old room like this. Uh, so that's sort of where the cabinet design came from uh, and the cabinet sort of material. That's also quite important to, the, to this design. Uh, this is the raw material on the white finish. Uh, so, so this is it in its raw form. Uh, we're also going to offer it in um, uh, a matte black, which is a painted finish, and the, and the heritage green, which is a, a nod to, to British racing green. Uh, something that I really wanted to bring in. Uh, we did a, a 50th anniversary loudspeaker last year in the same color, so uh, it, it really has become a house color for us, which is, which is great. Um, so the, the, the raw material of this cabinet is actually a, a really dense acrylic polymer. Uh, it's, it's a mix of acrylic and natural stone um, that is formed into sheet. It's incredibly dense, which means we can make it much thinner than we would normally make a loudspeaker cabinet, which means we can keep a nice big internal volume, which we need for, uh, for good bass reproduction, but we can keep a relatively small loudspeaker um, you know, this, this speaker, you know, it's only one and a half meters, you know, it, it, it's, it's not tall for a, for a flagship loudspeaker, uh, but we still get that volume, we still get that performance, uh, but that really rigid material was, was key to delivering that, uh, and it's also incredibly inert, um, that's really important. Uh, so we, we don't get any resonances, uh, and it works really, really well with those force cancel drivers, so we can, we can keep uh, bracing to, to a minimum and just use it where we need to use it and keep lots and lots of internal volume and not swallow it up. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's the, uh, how the base cabinets work. Um, and I think we'll play another song or two and I'll, and I'll go on to the MRA. Next sort of key component, as you know, uh, is, is you know perhaps the boldest feature uh, of the of the hyphen uh, is what we call the MRA, uh, which is uh, our mid-range uh, and and tweeter configuration uh, for the for the hyphen loudspeaker, uh, which was um, a unique design that, that the the acoustic team spent a lot of time developing. Um, you know there are. 
unbelievably, perhaps, you know, I've got a real issue with, with statement loudspeakers becoming like a wall of, of, of loudspeaker transducers, uh, and I find that quite intimidating. Um, and you know, we have a, a, a design philosophy uh, at Monitor Audio called our, our transparent design philosophy, and that's a lot about making what we do almost invisible. We want to we want to be friendly. Uh, you know, we want our products not to be aggressive and oppressive. Uh, so, you know, a key part of that is is making sure we we blend everything together. So, you know, in this loudspeaker, there are 11 drive units in each one of these loudspeakers, but you don't really see them. They don't overpower you. Uh, and a key point of that is the MRA, which the MRA is formed of our MPD uh, uh, AMT uh, transducer. Um, the, the MPD is the, the micro pleated diaphragm uh, treater. Uh, and that development, uh, which we, we really uh, perfected for, for Concept 50 uh, and Hyphen has now already started filtering down into our new Synergy uh, range, which is uh, here this weekend as well, uh, and, the, and the new Platinum 3G. Uh, so that, that technology is already beginning to, to filter into our, our new products. But then it's surrounded by something a little bit more unique. So we have these six two-inch um, mid-range drivers uh, that surround the, the, the MPD tweeter, uh, and they're flat-coned. Um, what's quite unique about these is, is that Michael developed these to be full range drivers. So, so these six things, so, and the way there is that we don't really have any limit then on where we cross them over. Uh, so they're quite effortless in the way that they work, uh, which is really, really key to, to making sure this, this speaker is, is effortless sort of at any volume. Uh, so there was a lot of work done in, in making the, the, the little two inch drivers work beyond the limits that we require them. Um, so you're not pulling it up or pushing it down to somewhere where it doesn't really want to go. And these little two-inch drivers with a flat cone means we, we can arrange them in, a, in like, almost like a, a, a watch. The, we can form them really, really close and tight to the, uh, to the, uh, to the tweeter itself and get uh, at least six drivers in, in a five-inch diameter. Uh, which are well, seven drivers including the tweeter. Uh, so that really keeps, helps us keep that point source. Um, and then you, your, your base driver's right behind there. Everything is incredibly enclosed together. The other benefit of the, the flat driver, they are developed with the baffle within this shape. They are uh, the, 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 the team, we always, what we call system design. Every component of this speaker is developed simultaneously all the way down to the crossover. So it's not a case of picking and choosing components. All the components are developed at the same time to ensure they work well. And that goes down to the mechanical. Uh, you know, Monitor Audio, we're, we're quite lucky in that we have a full mechanical engineering and product design team working in the same office, which means there is a good amount of communication to ensure everything works well together. That's really, really important for us uh, and something that's often quite <coughs> unique in, in our industry. So the way that these drivers work with the, with the flat diaphragm means that, they, that we don't get any of the, the negative effects of having a, um, a moving piston so close to the tweeter. It's, it's mostly flat and, it, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the ribbon reads it as flat. So it's a really, really neat way of, of doing a, a, a point source dual concentric design. Um, yeah, so that's you know, the, the MRA. Um, it's, a, it's a real... Um, sort of masterpiece of, of, of monitor audio r and I think, and, and it's something we're really, really proud of. Uh, and then this, this sits in this bridge uh, around the product. This bridge is totally isolated from the rest of the product as well. So we, get, we, we don't get any issues with the, uh, with the cabinets resonating through that. Again, one of the benefits of force cancel drivers is that <laughs> there aren't really many to deal with anyway. We're only, uh, we're only really dealing with the, the air energy inside. Um, yeah. Great. So we got one more track for you guys, uh, and then we'll uh, get into the questions. All right. Yeah. Did a full one. Hi, Finn, ladies and gentlemen. Nailed it. Thank you. I'm Scott Anna, CEO of Audio Advice. Thank you, guys. That was terrific. Thank you very much. Uh, you obviously have made something incredible. These are actually powered by 
it was Mark Levinson's 50th anniversary, 425 watts per channel in eight ohms. Yeah, that's been, uh, yeah, really great of them. Yeah. yeah. Um, now we're going to do the quiz on drivers, <laughs> right? Everyone remember the size <laughs> of the woofers in here? Can we get it? <laughs> Four, how big? Eight inch? Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. And how many mid ranges? Six. Six, yeah, yeah. two inch. <laughs> yeah. ANT in the middle. Anyways, that was terrific. But the main thing I want to do is one, thank you guys for, for coming here and launching. When everyone comes back tomorrow, there's going to be a whole theater set up here, which is going to be totally killer. So it's going to be built overnight. But I also just wanted to thank all of you for coming. Uh, the work that you do on the press side and YouTube and on your websites is critical to the success of the industry. And it means a lot to us at Audio Advice what you do, and we care about your success. So hopefully, uh, many of you I know, if I don't know you yet, I look forward to meeting you over the weekend. And our, you're going to hear this a lot through the weekend. Our focus is to bring happiness to people, and we really want you to have a blast this weekend. So as you go around, don't feel like it needs to be stuffy or anything. Uh, like the last song you guys played there, so we started getting everyone yeah. into it, so I'm sure you cranked some stuff up. But <laughs> just have a blast while you're here. We appreciate you coming. And if there's anything anyone in a black shirt can do to serve you, we're more than happy to do it. So thank you. Thanks, guys. Are you Thanks, Scott. For sale yet? Yes. Yeah. 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 Did yeah. you go through the price yet? Did we go through the price? Oh, I didn't get to the price yet. Yeah. No, they're ninety-five thousand. Ninety-five thousand dollars. Yeah. Yeah. So they're double, double yeah. and down for twenty-five. Yeah. Do you need it? Do you need like a seriously hefty amp to drive these? Yes. Or? Yeah. 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 They'll take a lot of power. A lot. <laughs> I don't think we've actually really found the limit there. So. <laughs>